Thank you for joining us today for the first ever episode of Toggle Talks, a podcast series where we aim to educate retail investors about how to make better investment decisions. Hey, Dylan, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on your first episode. Thanks for coming. Um, just to start, a quick introduction. Uh, Luke is the founder and CEO of Ethos. Uh, prior to Ethos, he was a consultant at McKinsey and graduated from the University of Minnesota. Uh, to get started uh, telling us a little bit about your background, I'd love to learn, how did you make the jump from consulting to entrepreneurship? Yeah, it's, uh, as a consultant, there are a lot of things that lend themselves well to entrepreneurship and starting your own business. And then there are a lot of things that don't lend themselves so well. So it was a, a tough choice, but I knew that I uh, loved um, working for clients or customers and I loved owning the process as a consultant, uh, leading engagements or uh, projects with clients. I wanted to really continue owning my own thing. And I was at a good point in my personal life to take a little bit of a risk. A lot of consultants, when they leave, they're deciding between starting a business or going into corporate strategy or something like that. I debated those options and other options, but I uh, was at a point where I um, didn't have any kids yet. I do now, but didn't at, the, at, at that time. Uh, so it was a good time personally. And I was really passionate about owning my own thing and being the being my own boss. Um, so it was a tough choice, but um, it's one that's that I've definitely appreciated and enjoyed so far. Awesome. Yeah. And it's uh, awesome to see what you've been doing with Ethos, um, which is an ESG focused platform for investors. Um, how did you start to get interested in ESG? And when you made that jump, how did you know that ESG was what you wanted to do? Yeah, prior to consulting, I worked in social impact measurement for some nonprofit organizations. And as a consultant, I, as, as a lot of consultants do, I was working with a big unstructured data sets for large corporations doing a lot of data and analytics. And I was doing my own investing on the side and saw really nothing for retail investors to understand sort of total impact of my portfolio from a really data-backed approach. So I just looked into um, impact of investments and saw a lot of ESG stuff, environmental social governance for institutional investors, but really nothing uh, for retail investors. There's a lot of one-off ratings and a lot of company self-reported data, a lot of company marketing information about how they support sustainability and other social causes, but not a lot of really uh, data-backed, robust, um, really robust, uh, credible ratings. So I uh, saw a need for retail investors who care about credible impact ratings or impact of their portfolio and saw an opportunity to combine that with my experience in data and analytics and working with unstructured data as a consultant uh, and then bringing together all this very disparate ESG information that's out there into a really more credible rating system for everyday investors. Awesome. Um, and as a retail investor, personally, I know that I, you know, I, there are issues that are seriously important to me. And when making investment decisions, I want to align those decisions with my personal beliefs. Lacking the sophisticated research tools of more of an institutional investor, how do I find out if a company I'm interested in has a positive or negative impact on those areas that are important to me? There's certainly a lot of information out there for you. The challenge for many retail investors is sifting through what is real information, what is uh, greenwashing or marketing information. So uh, I think you look at what is the credibility of any source that you're looking at. You can look at, for example, company self-reported data, which may or may not be reliable. A lot of it is and some of it isn't. You can also look at independent third-party organizations that do more vetting, more, I would say, more credible analysis of impact on a whole variety of causes. For example, there are racial justice ratings of companies and funds or gender equality ratings or climate action ratings by independent third-party organizations that I would say generally are a little bit more credible and would be better as a retail investor to look at from an ESG or impact perspective. This, uh, one thing that Ethos tries to do is aggregate this disparate information, uh, bring together in a single place, uh, all of this third-party information, company self-reported data, government data, some of our own research into a single place to make it easier for retail investors to find 
the raw data to find ratings across a whole variety of causes that you might care about uh, to make it easier to have a little more credible uh, perspective on impact. Cool, cool. Um, and I got the chance to play around with Ethos. Um, and in my experience, I saw that you bring all these data points together to give a company an overall rating or score. Uh, when you come up with that score, how do you weight each of those different inputs? Yeah, we look at a few areas. One, how relevant is the data point or metric to the cause? For example, carbon emissions or carbon intensity is very relevant to climate action related causes. Uh, two, we look at how credible is the source. Uh, so is this company self-reported data? Is it an independent organization that's done a lot of vetting and checking of the data? Um, is it government data? So we'll rate the credibility of the source. Three, we look at how reliable or consistently reported is the data. Is this a one-off rating that's never going to happen again and therefore will become out of date? Or is it a periodic, you know, monthly, quarterly, annual report? Uh, and then lastly, you look at coverage. So um, uh, how much coverage of the universe of stocks and funds does this particular metric have? So we look at those four areas and then assign a weight. We um, weight usually about 40 to 50 metrics for each cause uh, using those four criteria to assign um, the weight. Thanks for joining us on Toggle Talks. We continue our conversation with Luke touching on many aspects of ESG and teaching you how to make investment decisions that align with your beliefs. If you want early access to the full 25 minute episode, you can find Toggle Talks on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay updated as we release the next episodes of this four part series. If you wanna learn more about Ethos, you can check them out at ethosesg.com. Until next time, happy investing.